Let it go. All the boots are like whoa. Thing I go. Cause it over. I see. I see. I got a better now, girl. For my lunch, I just made this stir fry. It has like eggplants, onions, mushrooms, and some like baby bell pepper. And I just added some chicken in there and it looks delicious. Let me try this. I haven't tried this mix before. Mmm. Mmm. I love ginger with chicken. Delicious. Hi guys. So I went to my workout. It was so hard. Like, Wigri is so hard every single time like every single time which is why i love it and i feel like solid core is just not like i like the holes in the mega reformers and i think for solid core they had like a legal battle because they were trying to copy legree sebastian legree and so then they had like a lawsuit and stuff and so solid core can't have their actual reformers like mega reformers which is why theirs is a little bit different and it doesn't have the handles on the like actual carriage yeah i thought that was interesting which is why like solid core isn't my favorite because i do prefer the mega reformers and i like having like different holes and like different bars to hold on to on the carriage but anyway i digress so yeah i went to my workout um i went to go see my jeweler and i actually got two new pieces from her so i told you guys that i was getting a van cleef necklace which is this one here it's the mother of pearl and i saw people saying to not shower with it because it could shrink the stone or something weird like i actually read online that pearls can actually shrink and crack in dry conditions so it's best to keep your products a little bit humid i would say not completely wet but just make sure that there is a little bit of moisture from time to time and it's 18k solid gold and it's gorgeous and beautiful so i love it and i'm so happy that she was able to get it for me so it just looks like that and i just love the 18k gold i think it shines so differently and especially the chain on these necklaces are amazing okay and then you guys know i got this bezel this is my diamond bezel and then i also got one inspired by diamonds by the yard by tiffany so this one actually has 10 diamonds i believe tiffany's i don't remember how many diamonds they have but this one is also adjustable but she actually just hooked it on for me so it could be less but look if i just pull it a little bit it can be oh wait what the heck yeah so if i just pull it a little bit that way it can be longer but i like it to be the shortest so i'm just gonna pull it back like that so it's gorgeous this is my favorite it has like i said 10 diamonds some people have the tiffany necklace where it's this size of a diamond but like this style if you, that makes sense and i don't i don't like that i think it's too small especially because my shoulders are a little bit more broad i feel like and like wider i think it's better for me to have like a little bit like pieces that are a little bit bigger and this is the vintage alhambra by the way so i'm really happy that i have it like such a good choice and i think it's gonna go with everything and then i went to a jewelry store this one is called hill i'll try to find it i think it's like gold on hill or something like that so this one is a paper clip type of necklace and i actually had this one on recently and this one shines like so so beautifully so this one was actually if i put it back on it would be like here somewhere but i like just having three but this one is like a paper clip type of necklace and it's so pretty so it looks like that and it's just one chain this one was reasonably priced this was like 130 and the gold price is 58 right now i think when i 
was when I last checked. So this was a good price for this necklace and I like it. It's just like a really nice and dainty chain. They also have some of the chains that are similar on Catbird. Now, honestly, I think Catbird is such a scam. <laughs> From Catbird, I actually bought a, I need to hurry up because I have to go to golf, but I bought a 14K ring from them it's so thin it bends like crazy it's just not good quality and not like substantial so i would not recommend catbird if you guys want to go with your friends and do like the zapping the zapping bracelets like there are so many places that do that and you can probably just go to like a place in downtown to be honest um in the jewelry district and like have them do it so i wanted to show you guys the pieces that edge of ember sent me i did feature this on instagram i think so this is just a like bold chain and these are actually 18k plated which is not my favorite but i wanted to do a giveaway on this item um it's a little bit too big for my liking i don't really wear chains this big and i think it's beautiful i think that 18k gold plated is great if you're on a budget but me personally, I just prefer to wear solid 14K or solid 18K or anything higher I'm fine with. But they could look a little bit too yellow once it goes a little bit higher. So they did have 14K solid pieces and 18K solid pieces, but they weren't allowing influencers to choose those items. And because of that, it's just ideally if I was purchasing something like I would rather get something that I would actually buy with my own money and I wouldn't buy 18K like plated items. I just wouldn't buy plated items. I think... You might as well just invest that money into like a solid even though it's a little bit more but it'll last longer forever actually so yeah this is what that looks like i think the chain is gorgeous though like it's great if you don't wear it every day but i personally don't like to take my jewelry off i like to leave everything on and i just don't have time but this one i do really love so this is a j necklace it's an initial necklace which i've been wanting for a while so this one is 18k gold plated as well and i think this is fine because this is not something that i would wear every single day i think it's kind of fun if you're wearing just like a plain t-shirt or just like a v-neck that's like a low neck top this could go with that if you want it to be a little bit more playful but to me this is not like a super elegant necklace or like timeless i think it's kind of just fun to throw in the mix sometimes which is why i was okay with getting the initial i also got the letter k because i'm gonna get a chain for my cousin kalyan and i wanted her to have one matching with me so i got her this one i also got some questions on golfing outfits so these are all the skirts that i have like this is crazy halara actually sent me them and i'm gonna do a try on in another video but i just wanted to kind of show you guys the styles that i have really quickly and then also someone asked about my golf glove i use a zero golf glove you can get this on amazon and i originally bought foot joy but foot joy was a little bit too thick and i couldn't really feel the club and so i feel like this one was a little bit better for me and it's just white it comes with the pink one as well it comes with two of them and for me it wasn't about the pricing like i knew with golf i was going to spend a lot of money on like my items and like getting started and everything and so i didn't really care like i kind of already anticipated that which is why i was okay with it but with foot joy it wasn't about the pricing it was just about like how comfortable it felt in my hand and it just felt a little bit too thick i am getting a little bit like some blisters just because i'm not used to golfing and i'm just a beginner and then you always see all golf gloves you put your tea in here so this brand is called zero friction i really like this one in k-town we have so many places to golf which i love for me to practice and so i think it's really great if you don't live near a country club um but i have quite a few around me i usually go to santa Ana, or i'll go to like city golf or aroma i think it's like called spa and golf and then there's also monterey which they have lessons like it's a good golf club so you can go there as well but i wanted to show you guys some of my favorites are just the ones that go straight down not the ones that look like tennis skirts or like a mesh between the two but i do have those as well so i'll just show you guys like some of them so this one is this one is like a v and then it goes out like that still cute so i got it in orange as well because i thought orange was a fun color and then this one is just plain then this one is kind of cute it's like tennis skirt ish it has like the pleats that you can see i got a size small i'm a size four and my thighs are a little bit bigger because i have more of like an hourglass shape kind of body and so my thighs do fit in it but they are a little bit big but it's not to where it's like really uncomfortable because the size small is like a four and a six so i think if it's fine um if i lost weight on my thighs which i'm trying to so hard i just need to walk a lot but i haven't but if i just like keep walking and i keep exercising like i'll be fine but it's not like uncomfortable like it doesn't look bad in the in the shorts or anything but if you are between like a six and an eight i would go for an eight i used to be a size eight way back 
when I was living in the west side thank god I'm not because I just did not feel healthy but I feel like a lot better now I'm working out consistently so it's really great but what was I saying yeah if you're like a size between a size 6 and a size 8 I used to be in between those sizes I would go for a size 8 just so it's a little bit uh more fitted like i think if you're a certain size just get things that fit you and be okay with it and then you can work on getting healthy and getting into a routine and once you start to lose the weight and you see it physically like in your clothes and everything and you feel it then i think that's when you should start buying more clothes i don't think that you should buy something smaller and expect to fit in it like later you can always get things altered to be smaller but you can't get them altered to be bigger so yeah i also got this hound's tooth one they gave me like a really generous credit so i got a bunch so this one i thought it was cute my golf bag by the way is baby blue that's why a lot of my stuff is baby blue this one is a really cute one it has like this slit here and then this one is another crossover i have dresses as well that i'm gonna show you guys probably in another vlog because this is like already too long this one is a crossover one this one is a straight i want to say yeah it's straight down which is my favorite my favorite ones i might wear this one today I kind of want to wear black because I've been wearing like I've been wearing white a lot and I don't, I don't really like white how it looks on me when I'm working out this one is like straight down I know you guys can't really see but I'll, I'll show you guys oh my gosh this is like one of my favorite colors like this like crimson like crimson I don't even know what crimson is <laughs> this is like a like a burnt kind of like I don't know like red it looks nice though so this one's like a little frilly like purple one which I thought was cute for summer this one and the orange one are like probably my favorites but yeah, so I got a bunch of skirts. I will have a code down below if you guys are interested. I'll also try to insert some photos. Oh my gosh, I have like this really beautiful indigo blue one that's like Rams colors. I got it because of the Rams so I could wear it like to a game. But I also got it because it matched one of my collared tops. And I posted a, I posted like a Instagram story, I think. I'll have a picture here so you guys can check that out. But I love that so much. That's, that one is like one of my favorites. The fit is so nice. I'm going to get ready for golf right now and I will see you guys probably when i get back from golf because i don't know what i'm gonna do for dinner yet um but we'll see and then i also need to do my nails because they look horrible i'm gonna do them just like one color like i think just pink probably or like put some iridescent on it we'll see we'll see so that's the update on my jewelry also i've been keeping it really simple with my rings just because i have been golfing so often i usually go like every other day so I only have this Tiffany ring on, which I'm not really supposed to wear any rings, but I feel so naked without it. And it did get a little bent out of shape, so I need to take it to the store. I have like all my other diamond rings, but I just like kept them at home. I usually only wear them like when I go out to eat or if I have like a lunch or a meeting or something, I'll wear them because I love just how shiny they are. But yeah, I'm also saving for a tennis bracelet because that's like my next purchase. And then I think I'll be done with jewelry for a while because... I got quite a few pieces in such a short amount of time but I was really excited at like the prices and I was just really fascinated by it granted I could have purchased like four purses already or something like that but it's okay these are like forever pieces so it's okay I think you just need to like invest in certain things to like elevate your outfit and I feel like my purses were doing justice for me so I was like okay that's fine but I feel like I just wanted something like more to really just like bring all my looks together and I think my necklaces are just perfect for that also i have been gone for quite some time and i'm gonna be a mess next week because i posted on instagram i don't know if you guys saw but um my dad's mom which is my grandmother um my yay she actually passed away i want to say about a, a week and a half ago and um it hit me a few days after her death and then i saw my virgo a little bit after that and i did not feel like okay like that. and then you guys know i was in fresno for a while if you guys followed my like i made like a vlog channel <laughs> that i was posting vlogs on and i had some with her which i was really grateful to see so that was really hard for me and i said next week's gonna be even harder because it's her funeral service and then the viewing and then the monk do the chant and everything so we have to go to temple then it's gonna be the cremation which is like not my favorite part um that was a little bit hard for me and i'm still like i might seem like okay and like you know i'm trying to be okay on camera and i'm trying to like get back into the swing of things because my life didn't stop even though that was all happening like i still have to work i still have things to do i still have deadlines to meet um and that made it even like harder because of that i just wanted to focus on school and on work and i just needed to do that and put youtube like on the back burner because i just wasn't sure 
what was happening or what was going on and there's a lot more to it but that's like the consensus of what was going on so yeah um i am going oh no uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for golf and then i will see you guys in a bit Oh, okay. Make sure that if you're hitting from here, then uh, it's not going to be ready and the ball is not going to pop up. Oh, okay. So you, when you actually hit the ball when it's not ready, and balls will not. Uh -huh. Okay, so as soon as you're inside the sensor, mm -hmm. you can just go in and hit. Go a little bit that way, that oh. way, that way, that way. A little bit camera though. Oh. Okay. I'm really, I'm really love rust here because it's morning. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> I'm just a beginner, so I don't know. Cut, I can't. Cut, cut. Okay. It was in the morning, okay? Wow. There you go. Okay. the ball. Uh huh. It records every time. Oh, okay. Right. So you don't need to do anything. Just, just, you can just press the light mode off. I can see your swing. You can see awesome. in slow mo. How long you swing? Really bad. We <laughs> should the ball. Oh, okay. Still in the morning. Oh, right? Okay. I usually hit it here. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You can see how the ball comes. Oh, okay. All right. Hit that mm -hmm. super fat. Okay. Ball data, how ball spin. Oh, okay. okay. Club data. So this 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 part is kind of somewhat complicated, but at the same time, it's pretty easy to figure out. 